So my name is Rick Hamilton, I'm the director for the Melanesia program and we're here in the Arnavon Islands in the Solomon Islands. The Arnavons is a special place, it's the largest rookery for hawksbill turtles in the Western Pacific and it's also the only location in the Western Pacific when we, where we've seen recovery of hawksbills uh, in the last 40 years. And we're here to place satellite tags on nesting hawksbills, female hawksbill turtles, so we can learn more about their movement patterns so we can learn more about which beaches they nest on, where they've migrated from, from their foraging grounds to nest, and how well they're currently protected by the current protection here in the Arnavon Islands. So the first thing we do is we, we place the turtle and we need to little, do a little light sand on the location where we're going to place the satellite tag. And generally we want to make sure that the tag is placed in the highest location, which increases the chance of it getting a satellite fix when it's up out of the water. And then once we've given it a light sand, we just give it a clean with some alcohol. That gets rid of any dust that's come off in the sanding process. And it also helps dry out the shell before we apply the tag. So we're just going to apply the epoxy glue. Just give it a good painting in this area we've marked off, which is where the fiberglass matting will go. Okay, and we'll just put down the fibre matting. This creates the base, which allows us to attach the tag. With hawksbill turtles, they don't nest every year of their life. In fact, the turtles here we know are only remigrating back to nest about every five to seven years. But when they do come back, they'll lay about five clutches or five nests of eggs, two weeks apart. And one of the things we know almost nothing about is where these turtles go in that internesting period. Do they stay in the Arnavons protected area? Do they go to other islands to nest, etc.? So the tags that we've got on should last anything between six to 12 months, which will be enough time for us to gain a great deal of information of where they go in that internesting period. And also once they've finished their nesting, where they swim back to, because of turtles, the places they spend most of their life as adults foraging or eating on coral reefs is often a very, very long distance from where they nest. And we know from the few flipper tag returns we've had from hawksbill turtles in the Arnavons in the last 30 years, that some of them are coming all the way from the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So that's a, an 1800 kilometre long swim. So we've just got the tag here, this is the satellite tag, and we've put some epoxy putty underneath, which will harden shortly. So we'll place that down on the high point of the turtle, and then we give it a good push down. Now this will set, this will harden in about 10 minutes, like concrete, and really help to make sure that our tag doesn't come off. This turtle will spend most of her life underwater, but when she comes up for a breath, if she's on the surface for longer than 30 seconds, it will activate the GPS in this tag and it'll attempt to get a fast lock GPS position. So this is the last stage of the tag application. We're just getting a lot of epoxy glue and then we'll be laying some more fiber strips to really keep this secure. And then we're gonna leave this tag for about six hours so it really sets well. And then we'll let it go right here on the beach.